So hello to all of you, wherever you may be, from the Juventus Stadium in the Alpine city of Turin. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Hi everyone, and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. for this game. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? I'm going to go for the experienced Igor Akinfeyev. He's always been an agile stopper, but having been on the scene from, from such a young age, he's a much calmer decision maker these days. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. He would surely have scored there more times than not. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. It's gone out for a throw in. Hit into the middle. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Out towards the flank. It is deadlocked. Tries to think it in. And that's a goal kick. Now the pass. Danny Alves swung in towards the middle. It's gone a long way up and away. Just about here, the collective sigh there. They know they got away with one. And out to safety. And always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Real chance! Who's ball? Who's going to get there? We hit half time. So we reach the halfway point. Well, that half time dressing room now should be full of encouragement from the way they finished the first 45 minutes. They must restart with the same level of intensity, though. Any drop, and they're going to let this opposition off the hook. They really have to make it count now. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil nil here at half time. Second half gets on the way. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. 
speculative strike. Looks to slip it through. Good hand from the keeper. Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. Fox has got rid of that. Disappointing finish in the end. That's a pretty powerful effort, because he really got hold of that one, but he's not going to trouble the keeper from there. Nil-nil still. It's a game that needs a bit of life injected. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. It's gone for a throw-in. There's going to be a change here. A man waiting to come on. Tries a through ball. Offside, I think. Yes, it is. Mandzukic! Just off target. Well, how close can you get? That must have been a matter of inches. There he is, making his presence felt. Oh, he's just a nightmare for any defence. His movement, his pace, his anticipation, it's on another level. It's so hard for any defence to contain that. Passes it through. Evra positions himself well and cuts it out. Daniel Alves pulls off an exemplary piece of defending. And Mandzukic! Oh, he's really drilled it. Oh, that's great stuff. Exactly what he's all about. Well, he's certainly a player I'd be more than happy to watch. Tactically, he's almost impossible to stop. So what now? Ball's gone out of play. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Tries to get it forward quickly. That's a throw. This is gone, that's a foul. Mandzukic. Spoon forward. And he's made certain that won't get through. This lane on, they need to be pushing forward if they're going to get a result. Forward it goes. Looks like a good ball through. Gets good distance on it. And through to the goalkeeper. And Jukic charges in. And it's Everett. It's well blocked and back out it comes. And that was the final act of the game. A nearly game until the very end. And it finishes nil-nil. A uh, frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Look, a draw shows a level of industry from both sides here. On that alone, I think it's been quite an interesting encounter, actually. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.